Yo guys, how is it going? Eddie Hates Reactions here, and I'm so excited for this one. Today, we got Tell Me a Joke by Quadeca. And look, first off, Born Yesterday was such a banger. Go to track, y'all already know that. Now, me personally, it's so good, but I'm still like, uh, Sisyphus might be a little bit technically better as his best song. And now that Born Yesterday has more time to set in, it's like, I don't know, bro. They're, they're pretty close. But I do think that there's going to be a lot of chances on this album for this man to easily wipe Sisyphus. Um, but yeah, I'm in PST, so I'm like the last goddamn time zone to get this song. It's midnight. It's 12.08. I just want to hear it. I was going to wait for the music video, and I'm about, I was about to go to sleep right now, but I'm like, ah. Oh. If I got to wait for the music video, I'm going to have to wait to stream tomorrow, which means I got to go and wait till after work. And what do I do on my way to work? I bike my way to work. There's no way I'm about to bike to work with these headphones on and not listen to the new Quadeca song on repeat. I, it would kill me not to. So I have to listen to it now or else I'm practically doing, like committing a crime against myself. I don't know how it works, but it does. So tell me a joke. I heard the snippet. I absolutely adore the snippet. And I feel like I might like this one more than Born Yesterday as much as I do love Born Yesterday. I just like the weird, like, I don't know. I, I just really like shit like the, t the, the snippet. So if the whole song radiates that similar type of energy, I might be vibing with it. It's five minutes, which is still on the longer side, but of course I don't care. Like I listen to so many types of music. I'm not going to judge no matter what. And Born Yesterday was almost seven minutes, so it's whatever. Uh, let's just get right into it. I'm going to shut up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. I'm so excited, bro. Ah! Oh, wait. The song's not playing. I forgot. I muted the website because I didn't want it to accidentally start playing when I was setting it up. Let's go. Oh. Dude, this is so weird. Whenever Quadeca drops, I'm just like, oh my god, he's alive. I forgot. Ooh, these vocals are about to be interesting. Ooh, one second. I know I'm, I'm so annoying. I'm sorry, but I do want to pull up the lyrics. So I don't miss anything. I'm gonna pull them up on the side. You guys won't see them because I'll I'll, I'll I'll play it smart. Uh, I'll just have them right here. I think. Yeah. I'll do it like that. Or well, now you guys can just see white. That's annoying. Huh? Maybe if I do this. Oh crap! That didn't work. Oh no! Now you're just seeing more random stuff. Oh god! Wait one second. I got this. I got this. I'm so good. Wait, that didn't work. What the hell? There we go. Bam. You guys can still see the tell me a joke and I can see the lyrics. I just put them side by side on the monitor. That was the worst intro of all time. Let's restart. Oh my God. I'm so, I'm so all over the place, bro. It's midnight, man. I got work in the morning. <laughs> and I still got to upload a video for the anime channel. Ooh, okay. I'm locked in. I have a feeling this is about to be one of his more solid vocal performances. And of course, his voice has been like, I don't know if modulated is the right word, but it's... Oh, the glitchiness. I'm not ready. Oh, oh my god. Not only the fucking, like, I don't know if it's bass or whatever, but the kicking it. Ooh. Oh, is that like. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Bro. I'm sorry, the reaction's gonna be ass. I'm telling you now, the reaction's ass. I'm just. God, I'm not ready. Hold up. No, okay. First off, this build up, pretty great. Just right into this melancholic. His voice, though, on this verse. First off, I love that it's clear. I, 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 as much as I liked how, not murky, but you know how kind of like muffly and ambient and you know, uh, uh, not distorted, but just weird it was in, in the the intro. Um, 
I, I, I'm very glad that it sounds this way in this verse. It sounds clearer than even um, Born Yesterday, because I know in Born Yesterday, it was kind of similarly gone, gone, and uh, 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 back by popular demand with the, the deeper vocals uh, and the pitch changes, and they still do that here. Let me actually listen to this bit real quick. It's still there. Just like you can hear more Quadeca. You can hear more Quadeca. And I'm not saying you couldn't in like Born Yesterday, for example, but I feel like you can hear a lot more. Um, just because the effect's not as uh, drastic. Uh, but I'm, I'm I'm fucking loving this so far. Holy shit. I don't know. I'm saying I'm loving it. I'm assuming I'm still gonna love it tomorrow. I'm not just hyping it up because it's new. Uh, normally I try not to do that. But damn, I'm just so excited for this fucking album, bro. I'm so fucking excited. What the hell? <sighs> And like he's hitting all these like the layers and everything, all the vocal shit. I like that too. You know, a little bit in Born Yesterday at the end where he was like almost crying while delivering, and he does it good. He pulls it off. It's not corny or anything. Oh. Dude, how that background vocal sounds is so good. Whatever filters on that is dope. Ooh. Okay. Now, now that we're getting more into it, I feel like this is more of a one, one of those. Just it's it's gonna be slow the whole time. I don't know if it's gonna be big and grand like um, you know born yesterday i know i keep mentioning it but it's the only other fucking song i have to to compare it with man or like a sisyphus you know there's those grand ones that are like i feel like this will be grand in its own way don't get me wrong because there's a little bit to build up here and there i'm sure by the end i'll be fucking like oh but um it does feel like overall it'll be more ebb i don't want to say low key because it's still heavy but it, it is slower it, it's slower um which is perfectly fine uh it's just like you know yeah, you know. Damn it. Hopefully, okay, I'm not too quiet for the music. Oh! Bro, how have you gotten like this little. It's like um, a little blend between um this chill rap and this emo or not emo well i guess emo isn't it too but this little lo-fi bit but then you also have all these random ass sounds like you know you know just these random ass sounds in the background and they all blend so well they all blend so well i'm checking my phone because everyone in my house is asleep right now i feel like i'm, I'm really gonna text like shut the fuck up you're supposed to be asleep but um it is what it is <laughs> okay wait i gotta hear that build up again Bro, that came out of like left field, sounding like some uh, is Kanye shit the right way, way to say it? I don't know. L like, I don't know. It it's just like, I don't fucking know, man. I I, I hate doing reactions because I know what I want to say, but my brain is like, <laughs> you wanted to say something and sound smart, and you wanted to sound like you could put structures or uh, uh, centered structures together. Ha ha ha. No. <laughs> it's like when I'm talking to the bitches, man. I'm like, all right, I'm about to I'm about to riz up. <laughs> Okay, fuck. <laughs> but. The drum is solid. The vocals are great. I like these lyrics. All I can hear is the crickets. I'm pretty sure crickets have, I don't know exactly what it is, but there's some sort of shit with crickets and, and death, I think. And then, you know, the, the whole tell me a joke thing. I think we're getting more into it, but funny the joke is on me. Shit. Ooh. Okay, so he's definitely dead in this song as well, which I'm assuming all the songs he will be. Oh. Ooh, I love that hit. I oh! I love how the beat hits on it, bro. Wait. Wait, no, it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. There. Oh. You know, 
don't want to interrupt verse two, but this might be my favorite Claude vocal performance. But I do want to hear more. But like, Born Yesterday was up there. Uh, I guess Dasani, as like weird as it is to compare that, it does have some of my favorite Quad, quad vocals. I think he meshes with that song amazingly. If only DC to Dawn's verse was better. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. This is kind of weird. I, I wasn't planning to do this. Um, Sisyphus, obviously. Uh, 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 Shades of Us is good, but I wouldn't say that's one of his best vocal performances. I'm trying to think. Uh, the feeling of drifting apart is great, but I guess it, I'm more impressed with the instrumental and the production than the vocals, even though the vocals aren't bad. I'm not going to get into this right now, but this is fucking amazing. Holy shit. It doesn't feel real. Like I said, anytime Quadeca drops. It's weird because Quadeca is not even my favorite artist. He's definitely my favorite YouTube artist by far. But I just feel like, I don't know. It, it just feels different when he drops. It's, it, just, it simply hits different. I also saw that my Born Yesterday signed poster came in the mail or in the peel box. So I got to go get that tomorrow or today because it's, it's past midnight. Uh, but now I just want to tell me a joke one, damn it. Born Yesterday is outdated. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's, let's keep going. Oh, I can hear the little bit to the from the, the teaser in the background. Oh, that's about to be incorporated so well when we get into that bit. I totally forgot that bit is coming. He he's, he's pull, he always pulls that shit where he switches the song either midway or towards the end with some crescendos, some grand build up, or even just some crazy ass finisher. I'm definitely reacting to the music video on stream tomorrow. I need to listen to the song more, bro. Oh, nice. Oh, the punchline was me. Also, I'd like to mention, sorry to pause it so much, but it's, it's fucking quite okay. Um, even though, like, like I like how the beat is obviously good here, but he's like, pulling it out in these little bits and changing these little bits just to keep you on your toes a bit. Because verse two is very similar to verse one in terms of tone and it not changing too much, which is fine, obviously. But he still likes to, you know, keep you guessing a little bit. Oh, the little two. Was that a fucking symbol, I think? Bro, his vocals are so good. What the fuck? I like it. Obviously, obviously, everything I couldn't be would refer to, like, like, I, I'm pretty sure he's saying the joke is on himself for, for dying, maybe? Um, like, he, because he's the punchline. I, I, I'm going to get this wrong, because, like, born yesterday, I had no clue my first listen that it was about his, um, his mom moving on from his death and shit. I knew some shit was going on, and he was a ghost, but that was mostly about it. But, uh... He's definitely like regretting, I guess. We I don't think we, we're gonna figure out how he died until later, but I'm assuming it's gonna be suicide. Because why else would you regret it? I, I mean I guess even if you didn't die by suicide, like if you died of any way, you could still look back and be like, fuck. I wish I didn't die, you know? But I feel like you, you wouldn't feel as much regret as you would as if you committed suicide and looked back and were like, damn. Um like I really am the joke. I, I I fucked up and um. Everything that that, like since, you know everything was cut short. I, I couldn't be these things. I couldn't, do everything. This is fucking crazy. I, I'm so excited to check out the the rest though, and I don't want to go look look some of the lyrics from verse two again because I was talking through a lot of it. But bro said, reach through the walls, felt for a key. I'm a social experiment. Aren't you relieved to be here and all the cameras are pointing at me like, God damn, bro. Okay, let's just finish this off. I gotta go to sleep. Oh, I love this. Also, I won't lie. It might not be better than Born Yesterday. It's still fucking goaded. 
I'll get back to you in two to three business days. I'll tell you guys when I react to the album or the next single. Because I'm not going to be the guy that tries to, off one listen, say which one's the best. Unless the song is very, very, very clearly better or worse or, or good or shit in general. I'm not going to say like, oh my god, this is the best thing since Betty White, you know? Because uh, I, 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 if I did that every video, I would always be looking back like, fuck, I was wrong. I was wrong. But um, it's very close, which is just a, a testament to how good all of this shit's been lately. So that's a good thing. But I will say, I think I don't know. Oh, okay. This bridge is gonna be the part from the teaser. You can tell. The music video is about to help a lot too, in terms of understanding. I feel. It's weird because, like, I'm pretty sure that's the piano. The piano sounds daunting and dark, but the... I don't want to say the 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 instrument on top of it is, like, enlightening, but it's definitely lighter, and it's obviously higher pitch. So, it's just... I guess the, the pitch contrast, contrast is nice. The feeling feels still, like... I don't want to say spooky because Kodeka himself was like, I don't want people to think it's a spooky album. But it felt weirdly unnerving, but at the same time, like... Some sort of rising up of sorts. I don't know. It just felt not uplifting though. That's not the word I'd use. Definitely not uplifting. It does sound like some shit you'd hear from a Caretaker album though. That's for sure. Let's do Sisyphus ending round two. Round two. But it'll be just as good. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, shut the fuck up, born yesterday. We're not here for you. Okay, I think my opinion still stands. I think so far from the album, born yesterday, obviously the bigger track. I think I like it more, but um, time will only tell. Tell me a joke. Great song. I definitely feel like this will be one of the um, I don't know. It, it, like the lyrics are definitely more straightforward. This song, it's the the vibe is more on a. I don't know how to explain it, but it's it, 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 the vibe is more. I, I like I said I wanted to avoid using the word low key, but I guess I guess so. Um, but shit, that that vocal performance was was definitely probably my favorite quad vocal performance yet. The the production was very like all these decisions he made in the production I loved. I don't want to compare it to the production of Born Yesterday because I want to listen, re listen to Born Yesterday now with this extra knowledge. And since it's late, I haven't listened to Born Yesterday today, which is weird because I've been listening to it like every single day since it's came out. But today I had a busy day doing videos and stuff. But, um, man, man, that was a banger. But off first listen, I'm not even going to try and say shit. So please come back tomorrow or technically today because it's 1230. So late night today, I will put out my. Music video reaction, because I'll probably check it out on stream. And, yeah. I'll probably have more to say about it then. Because I'll definitely have at least, like, 20 listens by then. Because I'm going to listen to it tomorrow, leading into stream. For sure. Um, I just can't check out the music video, obviously, till I have the screen recording and everything. Because then you're not going to get my reaction of it. So, yeah. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, subscribe and all that good old shit. Um, and, obviously, subscribe to Kwaneka. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And, peace.